Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? Hope that you're doing well. Hope that your week is going well. So glad you're with us on tonight as we come to open up God's word, to get the bread that he has for us from heaven, asking him to feed us until we want no more. And so we want you to reach out right now, text somebody, call somebody, invite them to come and share with us on tonight. Do us a favor and click the share button on your page. Amen. So that we can get this to as many people as possible. What a wonderful time we had on Sunday. Amen. Coming together, celebrating 17 years as pastor and people. I had a blessed time. Hope you had a blessed time as well. Also, pastor is celebrating 25 years in ministry. Yeah, it was this time about 25 years ago, 1998, that I received my call into the ministry. And so I'm grateful that God has sustained me over the course of these 25 years. Amen. Turn back with us to Genesis chapter 26 as we look to culminate this series, Resolving Conflict. Look, if you've been blessed by this series, wave at me. Amen. Yeah. Write something on the screen. Let me know that God has spoken to you over the course of these last few weeks. Yeah. Write down the point or the points that have blessed you uh, thus far as well. We're looking to have a food drive, y'all, the first Sunday in March. So we want you to be prepared, amen, to bring in items so that we can be a blessing to those who are downtrodden in our community. Amen. God has blessed us to be a blessing, especially in these hard times. Guess what? A lot of people need a blessing from the Lord. And so the Lord has blessed us enough to the point where we're able to be a blessing unto them. Look, we want to be in prayer for those persons who stand in need of prayer. Continue to lift up Trustee McDaniel, Sister Maria Williams, Brother Robert Dixon, Sister Sadie Johnson, Sister Alma Burgess, Rosetta Randall, Sister Antoinette, Antoinette Crawley Gray's daughter, and Deaconess Caldwell, as well as those names that are listed in our bulletin. We believe that God is a healer. We believe that God is a prayer answering God. If you believe that, let's go to God in prayer on tonight. Father God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth we come giving you total praise on tonight. Just thanking you for your goodness, for your grace, and for your mercy, for bringing us thus far on this week, how you continue, God, to cover us and watch over us, provide for us daily. You supply all of our needs, God, and we give you the glory on tonight. Yes, God, we give you total praise, for you are great. And you're greatly to be praised. We exalt you. We magnify and glory for your name. We come on tonight just first of all just saying thank you. Yes, thank you, God, for continuing uh, to be our God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Morning by morning, God, new mercies we see. We bless your holy name on tonight as we come to intercede for those persons who have been called out on tonight, names in the bulletin. We come to you because we know that you have all power in your hand. We come to you because we know there's nothing too hard for you, that you're still, God, a healer, that there's still, God, a bomb in Gilead. And so for all those persons that were mentioned on tonight, God, we're asking you to have mercy upon them. We're asking you to fix their situation. 
We're asking you to solve their problem, bring healing unto their body. God, we're asking you to minister to their hurt and their pain. We're asking you to be with their doctors and their nurses, everyone who attends unto them. Bless them, God, with your wisdom. Guide them in the right direction in order, God, to help your people to heal and recover. God, we come declaring that no weapon formed against them shall be able to prosper. We come declaring that by your stripes they are all ready heal. You are the doctor in the sick room. And so we just ask you, God, to have your way. We ask you, God, to get the glory and the honor out of their situation. Turn it around for them. Work it together for their good. Bless them with the faith that they need to know, God, that you will see them through, that you will get the praise, the glory, and the honor. We even pray for those who are watching on tonight. We don't know their problem, God, but we know that you are omniscient, that you know everything. And so whatever they stand in need of on tonight, God, we're asking you to bless them. Take away the stress on tonight. Help them, God, to cast their cares upon you, knowing that you care for them. God, we thank you that we don't have to worry, that we don't have to doubt, because we know that, God, you will provide. Yeah, you're an on-time God, and so we'll wait on you. We'll be of good courage, knowing, God, that you are faithful, that you will bring things to pass. So bless us on tonight, God, as we go into your word. Anoint me, God, from on high to be a blessing to those who are watching, those who are listening on tonight. Have your way. It's in Jesus' name we ask it all. Amen. Come on, put your hands together right there. Amen. Give God glory. Amen. God is working things out even now. We believe that God is moving. Yeah, that he's sending angels on your behalf to take care of your situation. Look, Genesis chapter 26 on tonight, we've covered Amen. Of number of points, I believe eight up until this point. Amen. Last week we left off uh, talking about the fact that that we have to acknowledge our wrongs. That if we want to cease the arguing and the conflict and the strife, Amen. We have to be willing to acknowledge our wrongs. That's how. Amen. We can resolve conflict. Amen. And we see this from the opposition. The opposition came, amen, to Isaac and declared to Isaac, we, we saw that God was with you. Amen. We, we knew that God's hand was upon you. And so we were afraid of you. We were scared. We were threatened by you. Yeah, and that's why we treated you the way that we did. Amen. That's, that's, that's big time right there because it's the opposition. Amen. That comes to Isaac. People who don't know God. Amen. Who don't worship the Lord. They, they came to Isaac and said, look, we were threatened by you. We, we, we knew that God's hand was upon you, and so that's why we treated you unfairly. That's why we, we did the kind of things that we did to you and um, your herdsmen. And, and so we have to take ownership. A lot of times we uh, want to point fingers, but we don't want to acknowledge Amen. Our mistakes and our bad decisions. We, we have to be willing to be humble. Yeah, it's a sign of maturity when you can take accountability for yourself. Yeah, if you want the relationship 
to be better, you have to be willing to take some responsibility. Yeah, own up to your mistakes, your bad decisions. Amen. Uh, the wrong turns that, that you made. Amen. In order to get in the situation uh, that you got into. And, and so we, we have to be willing, just like uh, these folks in the text, uh, th they came to Isaac and said, look, uh, we were wrong, and, and this is the reason why uh, we approach you the way that we did. And so we want to own up to the role that we played in this conflict. Amen. You have to take the high road. Yeah, yeah, you got to be willing, amen, to be humble so that the relationship can get back to the place where God has ordained for it to be. O on tonight, we want to continue in this series, amen. We have another uh, point uh, that I believe, amen, will help you to resolve the conflict. This is a hard Amen point. This is a challenging amen point. And, and so we know it might be a little bit uh, rough. Amen for for most of us. It is found in verse number 30. It says that Isaac then made a feast for them. And they ate and drank. Look at it, y'all. Isaac then made a feast for them. Oh, my God. And, and they ate and they drank. So that if you want to resolve the conflict, you have to be willing to bless your opposition. Oh, my God. I told you it was going to be rough. You have to be willing to bless your enemies. Isaac made a feast for them, and them includes Abimelech and the rest of his people, the people who uh, came against Isaac and his people. L look at it. He made a feast. He, he spread a table, right? in order to bless his enemies, in order to bless his haters, his opposition. This is why we talked about uh, before how you have to seek help from above, be because in order for you to bless your opposition, you have to have some help from on high. Yeah, you, you got to spend some time with God, allow God to work on you, to deal with your anger, to deal with that bitterness, amen, in order for you to get in a posture where you're willing to be a blessing to your opposition. I love it. Yeah, at the end of the day, Isaac spread a table. Not, not for his people. <laughs> yeah, no, not just for his people. He spread a table for his opposition as well, his enemies. See, spreading the table for people who like you, that ain't hard to do. But spreading the table for those who are against you, those who mistreat you, those who do you wrong, amen, that's tough. Yeah, that's challenging. How many people know it's hard to bless your haters? Uh, be honest on tonight. It's hard, amen, to spread, amen, set a table for the people who oppose you, the people who lie on you, the people who dog you. Oh, my God. The people who plot and scheme against you. A amen. That's a difficult thing to do. But, but Isaac gives us the paradigm, the model 
uh, that we should follow if we want to resolve conflict. Yeah, he, he, he made a feast and they ate and drank. I love it. Not only did he spread the table, but he ate and drank with his enemies. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It, it, in other words, Isaac took them out to lunch. It, it, yeah. In other words, Isaac made them dinner. He didn't just make lunch for them and send it to them. He didn't just make some dinner for them and send it to them. No, nah, no, nah, this wasn't DoorDash. This wasn't, yeah, this wasn't no Uber taking food over. No, nah, he ate and drank. Yeah, right there, watch this, in the presence of his enemies. That's what, that's what David said. David said, he anoint your head with oil, have your cup running over. David said, he'll prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I love it. I love it, y'all. Because not only did he make a feast, but he ate and drank with his opposition. Oh, my God. That, that takes much help from the Lord. Yeah, you're talking about taking the high road. That's, that's definitely the the epitome of the, the high road, amen, that we ought to take. Now, now I, I need us to understand this. See, blessing your opposition uh, uh, is a way to disarm them. Yeah. It, it's a way uh, where, where you de-escalate the situation. Yeah. So, so, so that when I bless my opposition, I am uh, uh, getting them to a point of dropping their weapons. Because we don't need the conflict. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you should not, amen, use your weapon for the most part, amen, when you have somebody blessing you. Now, I can understand if somebody was coming against you, you want to use your, your, your weapon. I, I get that. That's logical. But, but get the picture. If you have somebody blessing you, it's hard to use your weapon against them. And so, in blessing his enemies, Isaac is seeking to de-escalate de the situation. He, he, he's seeking to disarm them so they won't have a clash again, so that they, there, there won't be any strife. And, and so you, you need to take note of that on tonight because maybe you're having conflict with somebody and maybe this is a good piece that you can use in order to resolve the strife and the disagreement that's taking place. Maybe God is calling you to bless your opposition, to disarm them so that they won't fuss and fight, so, so that they won't cuss you out, so that they won't give you a piece of their mind. Oh, my God. You, you got to learn how to de-escalate de the situation, how, how to, to disable your, your enemies, how to demobilize your opposition. Yeah, in, in blessing them, it can change their behavior. That's what Isaac is seeking to do. He, he's seeking to change, yeah, his opposition, their demeanor, their posture. Yeah, he, he wants peace in the situation. And one of the ways he's seeking peace is to spread a table, to have a feast, yeah, for, for his enemies and, and to prove that He's, amen, 
mature in the Lord, that, that he's over the conflict. He not only sets and spreads the table for them, but he also eats and drink with them. Yeah, in eating and drinking with them, amen, it's an intimate, if you will, fellowship so that Isaac is letting them know, amen, that, that he's comfortable being around them. Yeah, if you eat and you drink with somebody, you're in proximity to them, right? And so you're, you're, you're letting them know that I'm comfortable being around you. I'm not scared of you. Despite what you did to me in the past. See, you remember they, they argued, they quarreled over those wells that were dug, over the water that was discovered. They, they, they fought over them. But now Isaac is saying, in spite of the arguments and the disagreement and the quarreling that took place, in spite of the fights that we had, guess what? I want to let you know that I've gotten to the point Amen. After spending some time with God, where I'm comfortable being in your presence. I'm not scared of you. I'm at peace because I spent some time with God. You have to be willing, watch this, to pray for your enemies. Oh, my God. I know you can pray for your friends. <laughs> I know you can pray for the people that like you who are on your side, but, but are you mature enough, amen, to pray for your opposition? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about take them, amen, by, by the hand and, and take them before the Lord, amen, in order for the Lord to fix their situation. Oh, my God, that's disarming. Yeah, your enemies, that, that should demobilize them. That should de-escalate the situation. Just like Isaac, you ought to treat them to some lunch. <laughs> uh, I know you can take your, 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 your family to lunch. Yeah, I, I know you can take your boo to lunch, but, but, but are you willing, amen, to, to take your enemies, your haters to lunch, to dinner. Meet them for some breakfast. Yeah, buy them some coffee in order to disarm them so that now you can resolve the matter that you were in conflict about. Oh, it's rough on tonight. Yeah, is this helping anybody on tonight? If this is helping you, come on, write something on the screen. Yeah, yeah, wave at me. Yeah, shout at me on tonight. Yeah, send them a card. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Let them know that you're wishing them well. Yeah, when it's their birthday, when it's their anniversary, send them a card at Mother's Day, at Father's Day, send them a card, amen, in order to neutralize them so that they'll drop their weapons. Uh, lend them some money. Oh, I know you about to get off, yeah, the live stream now. L lend them some money. <laughs> You, you want to neutralize them? You want to disarm them? You want them to drop their weapons? A amen? Yeah, yeah. Lend them some money. And, and, and guess what? That should be enough to change their demeanor. That should be enough for them to drop, yeah, the weapons that they've been using against you in order to hurt you, in order to harm you. You want that relationship back in order? You got to be willing uh, to be a blessing to your enemies, the people who can't stand you, the people that don't like you, the people, amen, that, 
that you're in conflict with. Yeah. And, and, and guess what? You may be in conflict with, with your child. You may be in conflict with, with your parent. You may be in conflict with a coworker. You may be in conflict even with your spouse. If, if, if you want to be a blessing, amen, to them, guess what? It will be enough, amen, based upon the text, based upon the model that Isaac uh, gives to us on tonight. It should be enough to resolve the conflict, to cut out the strife, to cease, amen, the clashing that's been going on. And so we, we take note of that on tonight. It says, Isaac made a feast for them. And they ate and shrank. Here's the next point that we want to cover on tonight. It's found one verse below that one. Verse number 31. Verse number 31 says, early the next morning, the men swore an oath to each other. Then Isaac sent them on their way, and they left him in peace. Look at it. Early the next morning, they ain't waste no time. They ate, they drank, and then early the next morning, The men swore an oath to each other. Then Isaac sent them on their way, and they left him in peace. They swore an oath. Yeah, the Bible declares that this is the well, amen, of the oath. Right here in verse number 33 that follows, amen, playing on that oath that they swore to one another in verse number 31. Here's our next point on tonight. You have to agree to be at peace. Yeah. Isaac spread the table for them. He made a feast for his opposition. Amen. They ate and they drank and then they swore an oath to one another. Early the next morning. And then it said that Isaac sent them on their way and they left him in peace. They swore an oath. They agreed to be at peace with one another. Oh my God. You, you have to touch and agree <laughs> with your opposition. Yeah, whoever you're having conflict with. Yeah. When, when it's all said and done, you ought to touch and agree that you're going to be at peace with one another. No, we're not going to leave here bitter. We're not going to leave here upset. We're not going to leave here angry. We're, we're not going to leave here uh, with hate. Now, we're, we're going to agree to be at peace. We're going to leave in love. We're going to leave in harmony. Yeah. We, we, we want to agree uh -huh, to be at peace. Yeah, a lot of people looking for peace in the midst of all of this conflict. Yeah, Russia and Ukraine, looking, people are looking for peace. Yeah, Palestine and Israel, people are looking for peace. Democrats, Republicans, guess what? People are looking for some peace. Can we agree to be at peace with one another mm. so that we don't revisit this matter again. Guess what? When we agree to be at peace about the matter, we should not 
revisit the matter again. We should not bring it up again because guess what? We've come to a resolution that we agreed to be at peace. Mm. Yeah, when, when you get the money situation worked out, yeah, agree to be at peace. A and then leave it there. <laughs> so that you don't revisit, amen, that problem, that situation ever again. Yeah, when, when, when you get the issue resolved, then agree to be in harmony with one another. Agree not to argue, fuss, and fight with one another. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you got to make an, an oath. You, you, you got to come together in covenant. You, you got to touch and agree. And see, once again, that's where we have to hold ourselves accountable, accountable because guess what? We made a vow to one another that, that, that we agree to be at peace. We want peace in the relationship. And so that's what we seek. That's what we desire. That's what we pursue. Every day we wake up, Guess what? We are seeking peace. Yeah, we desire peace and harmony and love. We, we desire to be on one accord. We desire to be on the same page. Yeah, see, see you and I, we have to be intentional when it comes to resolving the conflict. Amen. And keeping the conflict out of our relationship. We have to agree. We, we have to make vows. Just like Isaac and his opposition in the text. They, they swore an oath. Oh, this is important, y'all. They swore an oath. See, that's, that's when you know it's important. When you come together in covenant. When you make vows to one another. Yeah, some married couple out there. Guess what? You made vows to one another. Yeah. Yeah, you ought to be in, in peace with one another. You, you, you ought to be unified on the same page, on one accord, in harmony, in sync with one another. You have to be intentional so that, 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 that the peace of the Lord can reign and rule in your relationship. How many people want peace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you ought to come together, make a vow with that co-worker, with that sibling, with your children, with, with that parent. Y'all been arguing, y'all been going back and forth for some time. Agree to be at peace. Because you need peace in your life. Yeah, see, see, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The enemy, guess what, wants you to be angry and upset. The enemy wants you to be unstable, stressed out, and bitter, holding grudges, but the Lord has come so that you might have peace. Peace that flows like a river. Yeah. I, 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 I'm looking for some people who are willing to step up to the plate. A amen. And make a vow. Amen. That in your household, guess what? Y'all are going to set a standard. Yeah, if you haven't already, that y'all are going to touch and agree to be at peace. No more conflict, amen, no more strife, no more clashing, no more disagreements. You got to be intentional. See, when you swear an oath, that lets you know that, that this is important. Yeah, to you. 
the people who are coming together, amen, to make this vow, a amen, this, this is of high regard. We're, we're coming together because we want to we wanna be at peace with one another. Oh, my God. Yeah, to them people in your ministry that, yeah, y'all been having conflict with one another. You, you ought to make a vow in your ministry, amen, with that person, amen, to, to be at peace with one another. To be in harmony. To be unified on one accord. So, so that you can go forth, amen, in the power that God has ordained for you. Oh, my God. And so uh, they, they swore an oath to each other. Early the next morning, Isaac sent them on their way. And I love it. They left him in peace. Yeah, they ain't slammed the door. <laughs> they weren't loud when they left. Yeah, nah, they left him in peace. Uh, here, here's the next thing on tonight. I love this. It is connected to an earlier point, and that is recognize that when you are humble, God will reward you. You got to recognize that when you are humble, God will reward you. Look in verse number 32. It said, that day, Isaac's servants came and told him about the well they had dug. They said, we've found water. Oh, I love it. That day, y'all, watch this. Isaac's servants came to him to tell him about a well they had dug. They said, we found water. Th this is after, y'all, Isaac made a feast for his opposition. This is after, yeah, Isaac made some dinner. He ate and drank with his enemies. This is after, yeah, they swore an oath to one another. And Isaac sent them on their way and left him in peace. They found some water, y'all. Oh, my God. That very day, not the next week, but that day, yeah, they found water. After they had dug for another well. So, so that Isaac made a feast. And, and watch this, y'all. As a result of making this feast for his opposition and coming to an agreement, Isaac is the one, y'all, that took the high road. He was humble. He was mistreated. But, but he's the one who decided to spread, to set a table. For his enemies. Yeah. To, to make an oath. Yeah. To agree to be at peace. And after he did that. His servants found another well. They found some more water. Because when you are humble. God will reward you. See there's something in it. Uh, for the person who decides to be the mature one, for the person who decides to take the high road, to be the bigger person. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, you may see it as a weakness, but it takes a strong person to be humble. Yeah, to lay their pride aside and say, even though they did me wrong, even though they mistreated me, I'm going to still pray for them. I'm going to still send them a card. I'm going to still treat them to lunch. I'm going to still lend them 
some money. Yeah, it takes a strong person to humble themselves in that kind of matter. See, see, some people hold grudges. <laughs> some people have too much pride. Yeah, and have a hard time blessing their, their opposition. But Isaac, again, lets us know, amen, that there's a blessing in being the bigger person. Oh, somebody ought to write that on the screen. There, there's a blessing being the bigger person person. Isaac blessed them. Oh my God. He blessed his haters. He, 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 he spread the table for his opposition. And, and as a result of doing that, his servants found some water after digging in the ground. Oh, I love it, y'all. When, when, when you're willing to to humble yourself, God will bless you in return. Some of us, guess what? We, we are blocking our blessing. Oh, hear this on tonight, church. Some of us are blocking our blessing because we're not willing to be humble enough to bless our opposition. Listen to to God on tonight. Your, your, your breakthrough is tied to blessing your haters. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you, you've been waiting for a breakthrough. You've been praying about increase. God is saying to somebody on tonight that, that your blessing, your breakthrough is tied to you being willing to bless your enemies. I love it. I, I, I love blessing my opposition. People be asking me, Pastor, why are you doing that? Pastor, don't you know they don't like you? Don't, don't you know that, that they ain't on your side? And I say, yeah, I know, but I'm going to bless them anyway. Because I've learned over the course of these 25 years, guess what? That my blessing, my blessing, my breakthrough, my increase, my promotion, my elevation is tied to me blessing my opposition. I, I'm trying to help somebody on tonight. It happens all the time. Whenever I bless my opposition, guess what? God elevates me. Yeah, God, God blesses me in return. So I don't have a problem yeah, being good to people that don't like me. <laughs> I don't have a problem, yeah, yeah, being good to people who can't stand me, who plot against me, yeah, who lie on me. Yeah, because I know, guess what, that, that God is going to look out for me in return. Look at the breakthrough. I need y'all to see this. The breakthrough is them digging into the ground. That's the breakthrough. When they dig into the ground, guess what? They get the breakthrough. <laughs> they broke ground. And as a result of them breaking ground, guess what? They find another well with some new fresh water. Y'all looking for some new blessings? Yeah, yeah. You looking for a breakthrough? Bless your opposition. Be good to those who don't like you. And watch how the Lord, amen, blesses you in return. And so, when you are humble, God will reward you. Here, here, here's the next thing. This is the final point, yeah, to culminate our series. Look, click that share button right now. If you've been blessed, click the share button on your page. Share this to your timeline on tonight. Amen. If you've been blessed, amen, wave at me. Yeah, write something on the screen. Let me know that the Lord is helping you on tonight. Here's the last point. Amen. And that's found in 
uh, verse number 32 as well. And it's this, know that your behavior can be a blessing to your connection. Know that your behavior can be a blessing to your connection. Look at verse number 32. That day Isaac's servants came and told him about the well they had dug. Yeah, they said, watch this, we have found water. So that this water ain't just for Isaac. Oh, my God. This, this water is for the people who are in relationship with Isaac as well. Y'all hear me on tonight. See, not only could you be blocking your own blessing, but you can be blocking the blessing of the people who are connected to you. Because Isaac was mature enough to humble himself to be a blessing to his opposition, not only was Isaac blessed with water, <laughs> but this water was going to be uh, for his herdsmen as well. The people who were tied to him, his community. Listen to me on tonight. Your behavior, yeah, can be a blessing or a burden to your connection. So you got a choice. You got an option. Are you going to be good to your enemies? Are you going to take the high road? Are you going to be the bigger person? Or, or, or will you uh, be immature to the point where you hold grudges, where you take the wrong disposition and block not only your blessing, but you'll block the blessing that God had in store for your connection. Oh, I love it. Church, we, we got some reflecting to do. We got, yeah, some praying to do. We have some decisions to make. Be because I, I believe that some of us, amen, have been blocking our own blessing. Not only have we been blocking our own blessing, but we've been blocking the blessing, yeah, of the people who are connected to us. Don't you know that God wants to bless you? Yeah, in order to get the blessing to the people who are tied to you? Oh, my God. That, that God wants to use you in order to get a blessing through you. Oh, somebody write that. God wants to use you in order to get a blessing through you. But you've got to have the right attitude. You've got to have the right demeanor. You've got to behave in the way that God has ordained for you to, to behave. Be because you are not only holding your blessing up. Oh, my God. You're holding up the blessing, yeah, that, that God has for the people who are tied to you. He wants to use you, yeah, in order to get a blessing through you. Yeah, so that people connected to you, guess what? They can have some fresh water. Oh, I love it. That Jesus, watch this, he was willing to go to a cross. Oh, my God. Despite how they treated him, yeah, he died for them. Look, look, he, 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 he represented the ideal posture even when he was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. 
Oh, my God. He got rewarded. Yeah. He died that Friday in, in the tomb that Saturday, but he got rewarded because it says early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. Oh, my God. And that same resurrecting power, guess what? Yeah. It is the same power that we have before us. Yeah, hasn't God got you out of some jams? Didn't he bring you out of some situations? Yeah, didn't he help you to bounce back and recover? Yeah, when you were in your tomb, when you were in your jam, when you were in your bind? Oh, my God. He said, I've come to give you life and life more abundantly God used him yeah in order to get a blessing through him guess what salvation can be yours if it's not already yours on tonight peace can be yours joy yeah can can be yours on tonight yeah and so if there's somebody out there on tonight unsaved and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. Guess what? God used his only begotten son in order to get the blessing of salvation to you. Yeah, he's coming to your rescue on tonight. If you're willing, amen, to reach out unto him. If you're unsaved, you want to be saved, go to the inbox on the page right now. Give us your name. Give us your number. Say, I'm in need of salvation. Yeah, I'm in need of a breakthrough. I need the Lord to turn my life around. If that's you on tonight, give us your name. Give us your number, and we'll reach out to you real soon. Or if you're out there looking for a church home, you don't have a church home, and you, you've been searching, you've been looking, you haven't found one yet. And God has spoken to you saying this is the house that he wants you connected to. If you're out there on tonight, go to the inbox. Give us your name. Give us your number. Amen. Join on tonight. Amen. We would be honored to have you as a member of this branch of Zion. So if you're out there, go to the inbox for salvation or to join on tonight. Amen. We thank and we bless God for your presence. If y'all been blessed by this series, come on, wave at me. Write something on the screen. Again, click the share button. Share this to your timeline so that others can see it. Call somebody, text them, and let them know they need to listen. They need to watch. Amen. And listen to this series in its entirety. Yeah. Let them know to go to our Facebook page in order to be blessed. If you're out there visiting with us on tonight, we thank and we bless God for you. Thank you for joining us on tonight. We hope in some way that you have been blessed by this study on this evening. We encourage you to come and worship with us on Sunday in person. Worship, amen, is safe, is comfortable. Amen. 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Come out. Amen. And be blessed of the Lord. Don't forget our food drive. Amen. First Sunday in March. Amen. We want you to get your items together so that we can be a blessing. I told you on tonight when you are willing to be a blessing. Amen. Guess what? God will bless you in return. Not only you. But he'll bless the people who are connected to you as well. And so let's be prepared to be a blessing first Sunday in March for our food drive. God, we thank you on tonight. We give you the glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. God, give us what we need. Yes, take away the hurt, the pain, in order for us to be a blessing to our opposition, in order for us to touch and agree. Yeah, so that we can have peace, so that we can have harmony. 
so that we can be on the same page, on one accord, so that we can move in the direction that you have ordained for us. Mature us to take the high road, to be the bigger person, so that relationships can be restored. We thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your strength, even, God, for your wisdom. Give us the right words to speak and help us to be receptive so that we can go forth, God, the way you have ordained. We come against bitterness. We come against uh, jealousy. We come against strife. In the name of Jesus, we speak reconciliation into the atmosphere. Reconcile, yeah, homes, reconcile families, reconcile ministries, yeah, so that you can get the glory, the honor, and the praise. We bless you. We lift you up. We give you the highest praise. And it's in Jesus' name we ask it all. Amen. Thank you all again for joining on tonight. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Look, before we leave, though, we want to give. We want to give on tonight, so I need you to go to givelify.com. Amen. Givelify.com. Amen. Give by credit or your debit card on tonight. Yeah, go there before you log off. Amen. Go there and give on tonight. If you've been blessed by this series, amen, be a blessing to the kingdom on tonight. Amen. Show God that you're grateful for pouring out to you over these uh, past few weeks. Amen. Or you can go to the cash app. Put in the dollar sign PBC News Live. Once again, dollar sign PBC News Live. Go to GiveLify.com. Go to the Cash App. Give on tonight. Be a blessing. And I guarantee you, God will open the windows of heaven. He'll pour you out a blessing that you don't have enough room to receive. Enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you on Sunday, 10 a.m. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you.